home of Brumwade. Founded in 1898, it's the largest factory in the British Empire specializing solely in air compressors and pneumatic tools. In these glimpses of this modern factory, the foundry is the natural starting place where air compressor castings are made. The molding box is being filled on a pneumatic jolt ram machine which consolidates the sand. Finally, a compressed air operated rammer is used. This does the work in a tenth of the time needed for hand ramming. In fact, compressed air almost entirely eliminates heavy hand work. With pneumatic spraying, the blacking penetrates further into the skin of the material before the molder smooths and finishes the surface. The foundry is unusually light and airy, which means good conditions for the men and good workmanship for the casting. The operations are obvious, but we should mention that this foundry can handle castings weighing up to 10 tons. Here is one of our castings being planed. Weighing three tons, it's the bottom half crankcase of a 1500 cubic foot compressor. The machine is all electric. Like most others in the factory, it uses tungstone carbide cutting tools. This twin boring machine is controlled by one operator. On one table, it turns a flywheel, and on the other, bores a cylinder. This horizontal traversing spindle boring machine can bore cylinders up to two feet in diameter. At the moment, it's cutting valve seatings in a two-stage cylinder. The special cutter block accurately machines both seatings in one operation, thus ensuring interchangeability. Cylinder bores are honed by mounted carborundum stones, revolving and reciprocating in the bores. By this operation, the cylinders have a fine finish and are absolutely round, and the original fit of the piston will last for years. After leaving the machine shop, all parts are put through a rigid inspection. This 450 cubic foot two-stage air compressor crankshaft is being checked for diameter. Compare its size with a small crankshaft underneath. This little crankshaft belongs to a three-cylinder air compressor used for operating pneumatic brakes. In this fitting shop, the larger air compressors are erected by skilled engineers. The fine limits to which all parts are machined reduces handwork to a minimum. You will immediately notice the rugged design of the crankshaft and bearings of this two-stage double-acting air compressor. Here's a three-cylinder single-stage compressor being tested by belt drive from a 200 horsepower dynamometer motor. Smaller compressors have the same care lavished on them as the larger machines. This sleeve valve compressor, which is being erected, delivers 170 cubic feet of air per minute. These sleeves are very accurately ground on the outside and honed inside to ensure an exact fit in the cylinder and piston. The scientifically produced rings soon bed up and in the honed cylinder bore maximum efficiency is quickly reached. The 
cylinder block is of course honed to exact size in the bore, hence the perfect fit. For testing, the sleeve valve compressor is directly coupled to a dynamometer motor and run on a full load for six hours. The horsepower can be read with absolute accuracy without having to consider errors in electric meters or motor efficiencies. The spring balance measures the actual pull on the motor frame. From this, the actual horsepower being absorbed is calculated. The tachometer indicates revolutions, in this instance a thousand per minute. This shows the output of free air per minute, measured by the low pressure nozzle test. The temperature of the air at the nozzle is taken, and when all tests have been made, the results are calculated. Finally, with the pressure gauge showing the rise and fall in pressure, the automatic air governor is adjusted. We are now in the section where portable air compressor plants are built. The compressor is mounted in the chassis frame and coupled to the engine. Alignment is checked with dial gauges. Here are diesel engine driven sleeve valve compressors being assembled. Similar portable compressors are used all over the world. The Brumwade machine has a reputation for reliability, one of the most essential features of any plant used for outdoor work. Another feature is easy starting from coal. Although the engine and compressor are individually tested after manufacture, the combined unit is given at least a four-hour run under full load before being dispatched. Fuel consumption, output of compressed air, everything in fact is finally checked over. <laughs>